Well, hey guys, uh, Thorzax here. And what I wanted to do today, Fortune Cookie, he's a little bit of a rascal, you know? I'll tell you what, he must have read my mind. For the last 25 plus years, I've been using the same set of Lee uh, reloading dies for my 44 Magnum and my 44 Special. And I've always wanted to replace them. And so I get this phone call this morning, and, uh, you know, they ask me who I am, and I said, you know, I'm so-and-so, and they said, okay, so, uh, you know, this is a UPS store, and we have, a, we have a package down here for you if you just come down here and get it. So I, uh, I felt, you know, hey, you know, great, I'll, I'll, I'll come down. So I, I went out, and I, uh, you know, got myself a cup of coffee, at, you know, one of the little coffee stands, and I went down there, and I picked up the package, and, and it, was, uh, it was from Steve. It was from Fortune Cookie. So hello there, Steve. And I got your package today, and I'm going to tell you what, you read my mind. I've been looking at uh, replacing my uh, reloading dies uh, for 44 Magnum. One thing I wanted to kind of show the viewers here. Now, I have a... Um, I have a progressive press, okay? and uh, you know uh, Dylan and the one thing that um, I have found out about the Dylan press is that the Dylan press if you look at the amount of threads that you have there I don't know if you can see that you look at the amount of threads that you have there uh, on the Dylan press the Lee dies uh, don't necessarily go all the way through the tool head and you have very little contact up here on the lead dies once you get them adjusted uh, with your resizing die so that's something that I wanted to go ahead and get going you know was is, uh, is, is that and he sent me some pretty fantastic stuff here I mean I'll, I'll tell you what it was it was more than I expected I mean you know yeah 44 Magnum, 44 Special, and uh, he just he just sent me all this, you know. I mean, uh, 44 Russian, you know, for the seating die. Uh, he sent me a factory crimp die. That's something that I've really been, you know, wanting to, uh, you know, go ahead and explore was the fan, uh, the the factory crimp die. Factory crimp die is just, you know, I mean, I've heard a lot about it. Uh, I've studied, you know, I've pretty much studied it, and I'll tell you what, uh, I, it, it never really compelled me to go out and buy one because, you know, I don't have ch chambering problems with bulges and stuff like that, but, well, I haven't experienced them yet, but um, at least now I've got something to take care of that. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to say if you ever have a chance to, feed, uh, to, to meet Steve and, and talk to him personally, you know, shake his hand or whatever, you know, you meet him at a shot show or at a gun show or out at their range or whatever, you know, stop and, 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 and say a few good words, you know, I mean, he's a really great guy. Uh, funny thing, when we, when we met up here uh, in Paul's Bow, um, the funny thing was, is we didn't even really talk about reloading that much. We talked about life and our families and, you know, where we came from and how long we've lived there and blah, blah, blah. We just, we just had a real good conversation and really wasn't about reloading. So anyway, with that, I'm getting a phone call here. I doubt it's anything serious. They'll leave a message. And correct. So anyway, uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, I got a great, great deal here. This is this is awesome. Uh, you know, you can also uh, you can also re reload the 455 Super Mag on the Lymans. Uh, it, it was more than I expected. You know, it 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 really is. I've been looking to replace my dies. Steve just kind of you know read my mind. So I wanted to say thank you in, in a nice way. <coughs> anyway, so 
Uh, up here in the Pacific Northwest, we've been having some pretty torrential weather. We've had uh, some real high winds and a lot of rain and stuff like that. I've been waiting to uh, get out there to the range. Right now is not really the time to really go out to the range, uh, you know, and do my best shooting or anything like that. I still have the uh, 44 Special Blackhawk. I got to get to that. I still have the K31 project that I'm working on. Um, I'm all done with my 308 brass. Uh, I was thinking about putting together a small video uh, about brass preparation. So, uh, you know, that's something that you know I want to go ahead and put together step by step. And, uh, you know, show you at least how I do it. Um, and that might be in the future. So, anyway. So this is Thor's Axe. And I want to say uh, thank you to Steve. And it was more than I expected. And uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, as long as you, uh, as long as that you can get on YouTube, Steve, uh, there's a lot of people out here that, that know you and appreciate what you do. Uh, you, you're, you're a great instructor. Uh, you really bridge the gap in a lot of ways to a lot of people. Um, you know, you know how to explain things. You, you show the results of the things that you explained, uh, whether it be powder coating or neck sizing or, you know, any of this experience that you have is very valuable to a lot of guys out there that are just getting started or even the experienced guys, you know. Um, you know, you show a technique that, that you use versus something that, say, I would use. And I'll try a year the way that you do it, and I'll go, hey, you know, that's that's a lot easier than doing this, you know. So, you know, it's, it's all big think tank, and it's great, you know. And this is part of our community. You know, we have a, a very good community here of people getting together and sharing ideas. Like I said, you know, the, the, uh, the, my kitchen has many coffee cup hooks on it, and there's a lot of guys that write in, and I'm going to tell you something, every one of you guys have got a coffee cup hanging on a hook here. So anytime you guys want to, you know, uh, chime in, have a, uh, something to say or a question or anything like that, feel free on my channel. I mean, it's, it's just great. And I want to thank you guys uh, for... You know, spreading the word about my channel, too. I've gotten an awful lot of subscribers here lately. Uh, my channel is growing. Um, you know, this is this is happening way too fast for me. <laughs> so, anyway, but I really appreciate the support that I got. And I'm going to tell you right now, I wouldn't be right here right now if it hadn't been for Fortune Cookie talking to me earlier and telling me, hey, guy, you're a fellow competitor. Uh... You know, you need to get a channel going. I mean, we need people in the community like you to add your two cents. So, anyway, I want to say thank you again, Steve. And until next time, you guys keep it all in the X-Ring, okay? It's Thor's Axe, and I'm signing out.